Good morning, everyone. Doug Lane here, Fast Lane Car Care. Like the video says, I want to uh, just point out a couple of the little hurdles of window tint, things to lo look out for, and uh, all that good stuff. Uh, so I got this uh, relatively new GMC Acadia Denali, and let me just flip it around. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So these little stickers like this, you know, like my Forerunner had the Toyota alarm system, whatever. This will have to come off. As you can see, it's on the inside. So depending on if it's just a static cling or if it's actually got adhesive, if it's adhesive, you have to peel it off. Uh, and then use some kind of adhesive remover to completely remove it. But before you even do that, well, I guess you could actually wait until after. Because um, you're going to want to clean the outside of the window as best you can. And the inside of the window as best you can. Now the tricky part to cutting it is these seals. You'll see that the door seals are different height on the outside versus the inside. Uh, so, I got to try to get the tent down in there and squeegee out all the bubbles and fluid. So that's going to be a little difficulty. Now back here in the, towards the back, not a big deal. Okay, but so cutting it is, is uh, it's easily the hardest part. Um, and then on this one, like I said, it's going to be kind of troublesome to... Heater's running. Uh, it's going to be a little bit troublesome to get the squeegee and everything down in there, but we can make that happen. So the second hurdle is the windshield strip. Obviously, if you don't care about the windshield strip, then this doesn't apply. But let's flip it around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we got the fancy GM, got your OnStar, all that good stuff on there. Uh, and as you can see, you got this big box. So now normally, if you were, if it was just a regular, just regular rear view mirror with just a little post, uh, you would just remove the rear view mirror and you just cut a little hole. But this is going to be a big problem right here. This perforated stuff is textured and it makes it very difficult for the film to actually adhere to it. It'll, it'll look bubbly and whatnot from the outside. So I think what I'm going to do with this one is I'm actually just going to cut the tent around all this and go across to the AS1 line. Now the annoying thing is there isn't an AS1 line on both sides, so I'll have to measure it and yeah, so I'll have to measure it on that side and then measure from the same spot down here on this side of the windshield so I can get it nice and straight. And then uh, the other hurdle is this, which should just be a static cling. So what I'll do is I will just peel it off, tint it, and then I'll just slap it on the tent so that way the client still knows when to get their oil changed, uh, even though most new cars tell you when. Um, so that's gonna be just a couple of the hurdles. So I'm gonna clean my windows and get started and start laying some film. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll, I'll see you in the next video.